So hi, thought to continue about this uh, current meter and the voltage meter. This is again Hall effect it's using this uh, the current that is going through this ferrite with the wire and calculate and showing the number on the LCD. Now uh, it is showing by the way one amp. While I don't have this current, it is a uh, and not okay so I will now show how to calibrate it very simple you just turn off the power and then you press ok and then you turn on the power and now you are going into the setting mode in the setting mode you can configure the voltage a uh, voltage uh, for 10 volt voltage for, for 40 volt this is the suggested calibration so now I will go uh, to the 10 volt because my power supply is exactly 12 volt. So you, you just choose it and then you press the up and uh, down button till you get the, the real voltage from your power supply. In this case I have exactly 12 volts. So now we are in the calibration process. Almost there now. So now I will move to the 40 volt. I have only 32 volts in my power supply. So 32 volts again is not correct. So I'm now again pressing the down button till I will get exactly 32. So now it will be calibrated all the way. They have an algorithm. Now I will move to the ampere ampere uh, current matter so now I'm zero current I don't have current so I will now decrease uh, not here I will decrease ah the numbers are okay here so again I want to it's, it's now I don't know how it was reset but it is looks okay so now what I can do I can apply current and see if it is calibrated. So I will put in my power supply, let's say two amps. So now sending two amps out. It's not really accurate, so I will try to adjust it. Almost there. Maybe I'm in the wrong in the wrong part of the current because I don't see that. Ah, this is changing. You see. So you have two current. It depends on the direction. Meaning, if the current is going in this direction or the output so you can uh, okay you know what i will configure also the current in the other direction it's pretty simple i will show you how i will now uh, change the plus and the minus in my power supply so now the current will flow to the other direction you can see it is not calibrated so i will now calibrate this number again i'm at two amps So in both direction, it will measure correctly. Almost there. Now I'm okay. So now I'm going to save, and I'm pressing this button for, I think, three five seconds, and then I can turn it off and then I will power it on and it should be okay ha! it moved to 2.1 uh, maybe I was uh, near the edge let's change the direction of the current 2 amps, by the way 
now I will give you all the important part of, of this that I was not aware of. So I have over voltage protection. Over voltage protection I put a voltage and then if it uh, above this voltage it is stopping the relay input. I will talk about the disadvantage. The relay input is in this board. We have two screws where it is written relay here if you can see. So again relay is here. This is the relay. So it gives a voltage out to the relay if it's uh, above the opposite. The relay is on and if it reaches above the let's say the over voltage was 24 volts and I'm on 20 volts and it reaches above 24 so the relay is stopping. Also we have a over a, a over voltage protection, over current protection Again, if it is rich amount of current above, it will stop the relay. And we get over power protection. Power protection, it is just multiplying the current and the voltage. And if it's above any kind of current, it will stop the relay. Then you have also ability to change uh, the time. And it, it also calculates very nice. It's calculate the current that is flowing uh, through the device and it can also calculate the current in both directions and if you are charging it will count the charge and if you are discharging it will decrease the ampere the total uh, capacity okay so it's calculate the capacity and the watt hour and many other things that very nice also you have a limit of Time. You can have a time limit from, I think, uh, one second to, to or one minute to uh, till uh, 99 hours and 59 minutes. So if it's past the, the total time, it will stop the relay. Oh, age if it's above the capacity that you want it to get again it is stopping the relay what is the disadvantages of this device the disadvantages is that the voltage of the relay is the voltage of the battery meaning if you're connecting 40 volts and using it 40 volts so the relay get 40 volts which is a lot so this is the only disadvantage that i found in this device they had to put a DC to DC and let's say to, to support only 12 volt relay but they are not so you can put a DC to DC at the output and make it work now I will show how to set each one of the parameters it's very simple you are going with uh, with the arrows up and down and you get to the parameters that you want to change you really need to press hard i don't know if all the devices are like this but this is what we have so overpower protection you you choose it and then you see it is in watts so i can choose whatever i want till uh, i think 99 watts and then when if the power is above this it will uh, stop the relay output so again, uh, the disadvantage is, is that the relay will get the voltage of the battery. We will over, you will see how to overcome this. So again, let's go to uh, over uh, current protection. So uh, I have a press and I can get to the desired current if it will pass the current that it is measuring in the whole sensor. It will stop. By the way. After applying this number, you have to uh, press again the OK till you have the, the green. If it is green, it means that you are using this feature. So again, showing uh, how the setup works. By the way, the OAH is overcharge protection. 
now I set the, the current for a four point half ampere hour now I will apply 3 amp and then when I'm pressing the OK here so it is starting ah, it's also already started the calculation without me pressing the, the OK the OK but show a green mark I, I thought that the green mark is when it is uh, uh, starting to work but seems not so now what it is doing pay attention it is measuring the actual time in, in uh, minutes it is measuring the actual power just multiplying the two numbers of the voltage and the current and it is also calculating the left uh, capacity in the battery now the capacity you can see is 4.45 and and the, the green uh, the green picture on the battery will decrease till it will be empty now how did it know the capacity very simple i'm going to uh, to the oah overcharge protection and i'm putting the capacity of the battery and for this spot it is doing all the calculation I will show again how to do it, so I will stop it now. I will stop the current and it is jumping again to the 4.5. Now what I'm doing, I'm going with the arrow to the OAH long press. Now I can change the capacity of the battery, for example, for, for a 10 amp hour and now Again, it will work. I'm just applying a discharge through a, through the whole effect, of course. It is a consuming now power. Now you can see that the capacity is decreasing. And the very nice thing about it, I will show you now. If I will change the current direction through the whole effect so now instead of discharging like it is doing now you can see 9.9897 .9 i will now switch the wires so it will be like it is charging and not discharging i think that the arrow in the output will also change its direction from this side to the other side let's see so live test and now disconnecting the current you see it, it, it did jump directly now the, the arrow is going in the other direction and when I'm consuming power you can see that it will not decrease if I will do it simultaneously so it, would, it wouldn't uh, jump again to 10 amp hour I think let's go maybe when I'm putting it on red it will not uh, jump let's again try now I'm in the discharging direction you can see 9.9 .9. now I will disconnect for a second now it is jumping again to 9 and it should be continuous discharge and it will do all the math and if it will be in the other direction so uh, it will maybe uh, measure the current in so overall it is doing all the measurement this is very nice and it is controlling the relay so you can control your load uh, by the relay uh, meaning your voltage to the load will go after the relay that you are connecting again the disadvantage that the output to the relay is now the voltage that you see now 32 volt which is a lot for a relay <coughs> you need a DC to DC to convert the voltage to the relay let's say if you're using 12 volt regular relay or, or something like this maybe 24 so you will need another part in order to, to adjust the voltage to the correct voltage to the relay because you don't want to burn your relay 
so overall very nice it is not just a, a, a current matter so I will go over what we have we have over voltage protection we have over power protection we have under voltage protection uh, this is LOP under voltage protection we have OAH is overcharge protection and we have OFT which is over time protection after uh, initial times that you set up it will uh, disconnect the relay uh, so overall very nice and it can protect your instrument for example if you're using lead acid battery and you want to disconnect it automatic from the, your load if it is below let's say 10.2 volt or something like this so we will set uh, the under voltage protection the LOP to the voltage of 10.2 uh, uh, volt and if your battery will go below this it will disconnect with the relay here your battery from your circuit so overall very nice it cost less than $20 and it can protect a very a expensive batteries so overall very recommended and nice so uh, that's all for now hope you enjoy and as always stay tuned to my channel thank you and bye